Our next inductee is former Kenyan rugby star Humphrey Kayangi. A veteran of 12 HSBC World Rugby 7 Series, Kayangi, along with his brother Colin Zinjira, was a mainstay of a Kenyan Sevens team feared for its strength and athleticism. And the brothers do it again for Kenya. A master's graduate in chemistry by profession, Kayangi helped the Shujar reach two Rugby World Cup Seven semi finals in 2009 the same year he was nominated for World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year, and again in 2013. He also appeared at two Commonwealth Games in 2010 and 2014, and was a member of the team that won Kenya's first ever HSBC World Rugby Seven Series Cup title in Singapore in 2016. It has taken them 114 tournaments to enjoy this moment. Kenya, congratulations, that was just awesome. The Rio 2016 Olympic Games was a fitting stage for one of Kenyan rugby's greats to bow out. And even though Kenya failed to challenge for a medal, the very fact that Rugby Sevens was part of the Olympic Games program was in some part down to Kayangi, who was a member of World Rugby's bid team that successfully earned the inclusion of Sevens at the Rio Olympic Games. Rugby Sevens is accepted as an Olympic sport. Earlier this year, he became the first Rugby Olympian to be appointed to the IOC's decision-making structures. A role model for all aspiring Kenyan rugby players, it is with great pleasure that I announce Humphrey Kaangi into the 2021 World Rugby Hall of Fame. Well, Humphrey, welcome. And it's, uh, it's so disappointing we're not able to do this in person, but such are the times. But congratulations on being inducted into the World Rugby Hall of Fame. It's an exciting moment for you. How, how does it feel? Uh, <laughs> uh, th th thank you, John. I think it's still surreal. I think it's um, one of those things you do not expect. I think um, I'm, I'm, I'm honoured. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Um, um, just looking at the list of the Hall of Fame and in terms of the names that are there, I think uh, many rugby players who are dotted and looked up. Look, uh, looked up to uh, growing up and, and, and it's, it's, it's amazing, unbelievable still that uh, I'm able to share a platform with them. And uh, you've received a couple of pieces of memorabilia. How, how does the cap fit? Um, yeah, I haven't tried it actually. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I think that should be fine. And I've got a pin as well. Um, <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon yeah. I reckon you'll look superb walking around the streets of uh, of Kenya <laughs> with, with with that gear on. Do you have any particular moments that that, that you count as your favourite moments in rugby? I think uh, over the last uh, 12, 13 years, the highlight should be the win in Singapore. I mean, uh, our first win ever, uh, which really was 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 amazing and and just culminating the journey of, of about 12, 13 years of us just trying to get to the top. And Humphrey, you've also been a, a trailblazer for rugby because you're the first rugby union player who has been selected to, uh, to represent their country on the, in, in the International Olympic Committee. And that's a wonderful honour for rugby, but certainly a very, very high honour for yourself. What does that role entail for you? I think just get, uh, taking it back to, to, to 2009, where I started getting involved with, uh, with getting rugby sevens back into the Olympics and uh, having to play at the Olympics in 2016. So it, it is a massive responsibility, but very excited that uh, I get to step into a new environment and, and see how best I can, uh, I can, I can support athletes um, in terms of ensuring their voices are heard. Well, Humphrey, you've been a, uh, an inspirational rugby player, not only for Kenyans, but, but for rugby people all around the world. You've carried yourself so well, both on and off the field. And I'm very proud to, to, uh, to say that now you're a World Rugby Hall of Fame inductee. Congratulations. Thank you very much, John. And uh, really want to thank the, the panel, the Hall of Fame panel for this selection. It, it means a lot and, and, and I think for me personally and, and the people who supported me throughout my career, I think my family has been my backbone uh, in terms of the support, my teammates and my coaches. Um, I think rugby is a team sport, you can't do it alone. So I, I really 
um, take this honor and, 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 and uh, give a big thank you to them. Well, Humphrey, congratulations. And I look forward to seeing you in Kenya one day. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon.